Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do a cook that um, I don't think I've done yet on the channel. I'm going to do some pork loin chops. I bought a couple of um, big pork loins the other day at Costco. They, they always have some pretty good deals on the big pork loins. And I usually cut one up into a big roast, and I cut some of them up into chops. And uh, I, caught, I cut some good size, probably a little over an inch and a half um, thick uh, chops the other day and I went ahead and cut them up and seasoned with um, running wild peach rub and I vacuum sealed them and I'm going to actually going to cook these up sous vide today and then we're going to throw them on the camp chef pellet grill we're going to use the slide and grill function to uh, get some char on them and I'm going to use the char um, the char wood uh, hickory pellets that got the charcoal in it so we're going to see how that turns out and i'm also going to make <clears throat> a little sauce for the end a, a little moho uh, honey type sauce i have some moho marinade that i usually use on some pork and, and chicken i'm going to make a little uh, sauce to put on these um, pork chops when we finish them um, i'm going to mix it with some honey and some garlic and some other stuff so i'm going to go ahead and get these pork chops because they're ready they're frozen solid so they're ready to go into the... So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the sous vide bath at 136 for four hours. And then we're going to toss them on the grill. So 136, we'll get these nice and uh, probably more like a medium rare, more medium. And then when we throw them on the grill, we're going to let them get a nice crust on them. And they'll finish up around, you know, medium to medium well. Still plenty juicy and not overcooked and dried out. So... I'm going to get these thrown in the sous vide bath and we'll see you guys. In One of the things I like about this uh, pellet grill so much, this camp chef, is that you see I got all these pecan pellets in here right now. I don't want to use those pecan pellets to um, cook these pork chops tonight. I want to use some of the charcoal hickory ones. So what I'm going to do, this particular grill has a pellet dump. And this little handle right here, just lift this up, pull it, and all the pellets that are in that hopper come out into the bucket so I can change the flavor of the pellets. I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this, and I'm going to load up the charcoal pellets. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm getting my fire going. The pork chops are almost done in the sous vide. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, marinade done. And um, it's not really a marinade, it's just going to be a finishing sauce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a half a cup of this moho marinade, which has got a lot of citrus stuff in it already. It's got some orange juice, it's got some lemon, lime, garlic. It's a pre-made marinade. Um, it's more of a for Cuban pork or Spanish style stuff. Um, it's got a lot of uh, citrus and all that in there. So I'm going to take about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more, maybe more like two thirds of a cup of that marinade. And I'm going to add in about quarter cup of clover honey and I'm just going to go right in there I can eyeball it but it, I would add about a quarter cup maybe just a little bit more than that maybe a third of a cup of honey and this could be to taste you can sweeten this to taste so that's about a quarter about about a third of a cup right there and then I'm going to take one lemon and just kind of squeeze it into it get those seeds out you could use lemon juice too you don't have to use a fresh lemon but I just happen to have a couple fresh lemons and I take two limes I'll do the same thing just kind of but that's about good right there some lemon and limes and then we're just gonna whisk it up and then we're gonna put it on the stove and heat it up some so they okay, get all I got the uh, pork chops out of the sous vide and I'm gonna get ready to I'm just going to pat them dry because we want to get a nice sear on them from the uh, sliding grill on the camp chef. 
get some of that charcoal flavor to them. So I'm going to make sure they're patted real dry. And I'm just, just some Lowry season salt. And just a little bit of that. Not a ton of it. Um, just to get a little bit of salt, saltiness to them. Because we're going to put that real sweet sauce on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put just a little bit of season salt. And maybe just a little bit of pepper. And that's about all. And then we're going to get them tossed on the grill. So all right, guys, right the grill is up to 400 degrees. And what I'm going to do is open up the sliding grill lever here. And what that does is pull the heat deflector back and opens up the flame so I can cook on the direct flame. Then I'm going to put these pork chops on and let them get nice and toasty. And these are already cooked, so they don't have to be on here long. So just enough to get some color and some smoke. That's it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip them. The grill says it's at 560 or 464, so it's getting pretty hot. And remember, these are cooking right over that flame. So they're getting some color to them. Whew. Not bad at all for the slide and grill feature here. You know that's the slide and grill feature works great. It's um, you know it does have a limited area that it covers because pellet grills have that you know it's a small area that. Um, fire pot is but it seems to work pretty good for me all right we're gonna give those another minute and a half or so on that side and we'll be all back right guys these are up. done and I got my sauce here and I got a really good sear on these like I said we weren't cooking them on the grill to get them done they were already done we were just getting this nice sear on them got a really nice color and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the sauce let me see it did uh, thicken up some I'm going to put it right on these. And I tasted it already, and it's nice and citrusy and sweet. Tastes really good. I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. And I'm going to cut into this one right here. Take a bite, and you can see it's a nice doneness on them. Um, they're not well done or overcooked at all, they're not dried out. There's not much pink in there, but I really don't like pink pork too much. But they are very moist still. Mm. And the sweetness of that sauce with the salt and pepper. And a little bit, you know, you can taste the peach rub a little bit, but it, it's mostly washed off. But they are perfect. Um, yeah, nice and moist. They're not, um, they're not too done and they're not too rare. So... Go ahead and try these out, guys. Especially, you know, I love the feature of that the, the Camp Chef grill on the sliding grill because I can taste a little bit of that charcoal taste on these. And um, it's the only charcoal grill I know of that you can actually pull back that uh, heat deflector and give it a nice sear on there over the direct flame. So check out our other videos. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys again on our next video. Thanks again.